hi everyone welcome back so in today's video i will be showing you how to make this easy snack using maggi noodles It will taste so much better than the ordinary murukku but with half the effort and half the time that you will take to make the old fashioned murukku. To start off this recipe you will need some boiled water. To a bowl add the maggi noodles and add the recently boiled water just enough to cover the noodles. Don't let the noodles sit in the hot water for too long. You only need to cook it for about maybe maximum 5 minutes or less than 5 minutes. You just need to cook it up to about 50 to 60 percent. That's it. While the noodles is soaking in hot water, go ahead and using a fork, separate the noodles like this so that it won't be tangled and it will be easy to manage later on. Once that's done, strain off the hot water and rinse it with normal cold water so that it will help you to cool down the noodles and stop the cooking process. Once the cold water has been strained off, lay out a paper towel and separate the noodles and lay them out on the paper towel like this so that the noodles will be dry with the help of the paper towel. Once the noodles is completely dry, go ahead and add the noodles to another separate bowl and add 1.5 tablespoons of corn flour and 1.5 tablespoons of all-purpose flour and toss the noodles all together with the flour mixture till all the noodles are well coated. Once the noodles is well coated with the flour mixture, using a large strainer or a colander, sift the excess flour off the noodles like this. Once you have removed the excess flour off the noodles, don't wait for too long before you fry them in the oil because if you leave it for too long after you have done this process additional moist is going to form on the noodles and it will be a disaster so once you're done with removing the excess flour off the noodles go ahead and immediately start frying the noodles in medium hot oil don't overcrowd the pan when you're frying the noodles so add a little bit each time leaving enough space to move around the noodles when you're frying it once they are fried you can go ahead and add salt now if you like you can add garlic powder or other any seasoning that you like it's up to you you can even add chili powder to make it spicy again it's up to you you can even form them into small circles like these and then fry them This is how crispy it looks after you fry them. You can put it in an airtight container and leave it aside and it will stay fresh and crispy easily for about 2-3 to three days. Do try this recipe and let me know how it turned out for you. I hope you guys like this video so if you did please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So until next time with a new video, take care and Ayubo and from Sri Lanka.